Hello, Tim from Fairplane now on the 1st of May 2024. So I've got something slightly different for you today, but before I do that, I'm gonna give a shout out to the latest Uprise and Shine event uh, coming up this weekend. It's gonna be going from Friday the 3rd of May right the way through to Sunday the 5th of May and there's going to be all sorts of uh, speakers there uh, to do with alternative health, common law uh, and all sorts of other freedom uh, kind of stuff that uh, we want to know more about. Uh, we've got the likes of uh, Sue, the common law uh, kind of expert there. We've got Richard Vobes who will be doing uh, uh, no doubt some entertaining things and many many other interesting speakers uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below with the uh, full details the full itinerary so you can see uh, who you want to kind of see uh, what uh, speakers you want to hear and uh, you can either go just for one day a couple of days or all three days there's options for everything so check out that link and if you're gonna go i'll see you there so anyway that's the uh, shout out done but uh yeah i want to just basically take you on a magical mystery tour now. I think you'll find it very entertaining. Uh, some not particularly kind of uh, pleasant scenery, but uh, <laughs> I have got a point uh, which I'm making uh, as we go along here. Uh, now it's um, basically, I'm going along in the car for a very particular reason, which will become apparent in the video, uh, but I've set the, uh, uh, kind of phone on video mode stuck on the hands-free thing on the windscreen which you can see in part of the picture anyway and uh, did that before setting off and switched off again after parking up so and then I voiced over uh, kind of when I got home so all perfectly legal all perfectly safe so I'm gonna let you uh, carry on watching uh, because I am making a point uh, uh, sort of against some very very silly uninformed people I'll just leave it at that and uh, yeah carry on watching and enjoy and like I say do check out the description box below here for the uprise and shine details and hopefully see you there Tim from Fairplay now thanks for watching so just a little bit different today thought I'd take you for a drive and show you the magic of the Crawley industrial estate uh, I'm doing this for a reason as I'll come on to in a second uh, but note the grey skies are back today uh, after a couple of days of nice spring-like very sunny lovely weather it could only manage two days and here is the dull grey weather back again but uh, in a minute there's you're going to see a bridge going across this deal carriageway like a, a footbridge I think it is and uh, we had uh, a day ago, yesterday, the delight of uh, an Extinction Rebellion banner going right across that bridge in full view. Uh, delighted to see it's gone today. Whether that was done by the police or authorities or by just a third party who uh, doesn't really believe in all of that nonsense. But the banner actually said something like, uh, I'm pretty sure this is word for word, uh, fossil fuels are killing humanity. Now, when you consider that that was one of those banners uh, that you can get made up, made of plastic, and what is plastic made of? Uh, yeah, fossil fuels. So you're using a product. They didn't even have the kind of uh, intelligent capacity to kind of just make up something out of natural materials uh, no they use something made out of fossil fuels uh, basically to uh, give us the message that uh, fossil fuels are killing humanity um, well I can think of uh, one or two other things that are definitely killing humanity I don't think I really need to expand on that but uh, uh, honestly these people they're just 
absolutely brainwashed. Um, I, one message that I'd like to put to these people is just because uh, your teachers are telling you, are telling it to you, your school's telling it to you, the BBC's telling it, uh, the government are uh, talking about it, doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. Um, in fact, it could, you're going to be much better off assuming the opposite. Take the 180 degree uh, rule and just sort of take anything that any of those bodies I've mentioned says and flip it around 180 degrees and you'll probably be closer to the truth. If you believe in this climate nonsense, you need to ask yourself the question, why did they change the name of it? Why did, you know, about a decade ago, they changed the name from global warming, which is what they always referred to it before, to climate change why was that uh, well could it be could it just possibly be uh, that uh, they found there was no evidence of actual global warming so they had to do a quick little bit of rebranding there for fear of just being completely caught out and that's what they did and that should have been the end of it people should have seen through that and thought hang on a minute why are they changing the name oh yeah you know it looks like there isn't actually any global warming uh, occurring but it just seems like uh, instead of people thinking a little bit critically uh, they've just doubled down and they believe this nonsense even more now so just ask yourself the question uh, why was that name changed? And I think if you look into it uh, in a little bit more depth, not just from the BBC or Google or the government, but kind of people who actually know about these things, I think you'll get your answer.